free MLB picks. This is action here for a Wednesday, October 5th. I'm Tony T. Our MLB pick show here for Wednesday's action uh, features, well, all 15, actually there's 16 games with a doubleheader. Before we get into just a couple things, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Free MLB picks updated all season long and playoffs. Free picks every day from all the major sports. We also have NFL, college football, and more. It is a good time to subscribe. And also, if you would support our channel, hit the thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Then visit Tony'sPicks.com. We're a multi-capper site showcasing top cappers in the industry. Click the link to the hot cappers. Get signed up. Guys like Nick's been hot. The morning's gym crew's been red hot. Tiffany as well. Hollywood Sam, Paul, a lot of the cappers have been hot. I am the top unit producer in baseball this year. Uh, college NFL, we have some really good performers as well. Guys like Ramon and Ben have been hot. Uh, Hollywood Sam, Tiffany, click the links and get signed up to our, one of our long-term passes. You'll, you can find our premium picks at the top of the page. The drop-down menus for the free picks. As you scroll, you'll find here our featured picks, our best bets. Each capper can designate one best bet per day per, per sport. $15 pick. Cappers can... I uh, like to recognize one of their premium plays as a $15 pick just to introduce you to their service. Our three packs, uh, cappers, that's really great value there when you get a three pack. Uh, many of you guys like that. So the three pack for really good value there, three of our best plays all bundled into one pass. So check that out. You'll find our free picks at the top of the page, drop down many for the free picks. And of course, our promo code, you can save 20% off all premium pick packages. When you use that promo code TonyT at checkout, you can access our page by clicking the link in the description, then the All Cappers tab, and get signed up. Also, love to hear from you guys, so post your picks in the comments below. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get this one started. Angels Athletics MLB pick here. This one goes off here on Wednesday. <clears throat> Shohei Otani will start for the Angels. Otani in 27 starts, carries an ERA 2.35, whip of 1.03. The right-hander, an elite 33% strikeout rate with 6.7% walks. His ground ball is coming at 42%, 0.78 home runs per nine innings. Ken Waldachuk will be the starter for Oakland. Waldachuk, six starts, ERA 6.18, whip of 1.37. The left-hander fans 24%, 7.5% walks. The ground ball is dished at 34%, 1.63 home runs per nine innings. A FIP of 4.55 indicates a drop in ERA if form holds. Oakland has won both games in this series with their 2-1 win. Past 10 games, Athletics hitting 204 against right-handers. Both bullpens in good form. Altani 21-8 to the under, facing AL teams that average 4.4 runs per game or less the past two seasons. Athletics 21-12 to the under, facing an AL starter with an ERA of 3.40 or better. The play here will be the Angels in Oakland under seven runs. Yankees and Rangers MLB pick here for Wednesday. Domingo Herman will get the start for the Yankees. Herman appeared in 14 games, ERA 3.31 plus the whip of 1.12. The right-hander striking out 19%, 6.5% walks. The ground ball is 38%, 1.19 home runs per nine innings. A FIP of 4.27, an indicator of a rise in ERA based on his numbers. Glenn Otto to start for Texas. Otto starts in 26 games, ERA 4.72, whip of 1.35. The right-hander is fanning 18%, 10.5% walks. His ground ball is 43%, 1.39 home runs per nine innings. The Yankees have won two of three in this series as they split their doubleheader. Rangers have lost eight of ten past ten games. Rangers hitting just 174 against right-handers. Texas 14 and 31 facing a winning team during the second half of the season. New York 34 and 19 when line is a minus 100 to minus 150 favorite. The play here will be the Yankees minus 135. Cardinals and Pirates MLB pick here for Wednesday. Matthew Libertor will start for St. Louis. Libertor in eight appearances in ERA 5.46, whip of 1.69. The left-hander a strikeout mark of 18%, 10% walks. The ground ball is dealt at 35%, 1.52 home runs per nine innings. Johan Yo Yoviedo will start for Pittsburgh. Yoviedo in 20 appearances, ERA 3.12, plus the whip of 1.29. The right-hander is striking out 24%, 0.87 home runs per nine innings. A FIP of 3.78 uh, suggests a rise in ERA based on his numbers. St. Louis has split the first two in this series with their 8-7 win. Past 10 games, Cardinals hitting 228 against right-handers. Oviedo has allowed two earned runs or fewer in three of four starts. <clears throat> Cardinals may have to rest some starters. Remember, they got to uh, travel home after hosting uh, to host game one of the wild card on Friday. So the play will be on Pittsburgh on the run line, plus one and a half runs here in this one. 
they could be resting starters. That's the reason. Blue Jays and Orioles MLB pick here for action on Wednesday. One with the rain out on Tuesday. They played uh, on Tuesday. They played two on Wednesday. Game one matchup features the starters from from Tuesday. Mitch White to start for Toronto. White in 27 appearances in ERA of 5.21. Whip of 1.44. The right-hander is striking out 17.5%. 8% walks. The ground balls 43%. 0.76 home runs per nine innings. A FIP of 3.85, an indication of an ERA dropping based on these numbers. Mike Bauman will start for Baltimore. Bauman has worked 12 games, ERA 4.34, whip of 1.45. The right-handers pitching to contact, 15% strikeout, 6.5% walks. The ground balls, 50% limited home run damage. Blue Jays win the open this series 5-1. They've won four straight. Orioles have dropped 5-7 past 10 games. Orioles bullpen, an ERA of 6.30. <clears throat> White, 12-4, and four, the over... Uh, this well, I'm sorry. Actually, it's not. It's not a night game, so it won't factor in in this in this angle. But looking at this here, both starters are in poor form. The play here will be Toronto and Baltimore over seven and a half runs in Game One. Now, Game Two, Casey Lawrence, the primary starter for Toronto, the right-hander appeared in five games, ERA eight, WHIP of 1.47. Lawrence pitches the contact here, 13 percent strikeouts, nine and a half percent walks. The ground balls, 43 percent, 2.87 home runs per nine innings. Spencer Watkins will start for Baltimore. Watkins, 22 appearances, ERA, 4.76, whip of 1.42. The right-hander, a high-contact pitcher, 13.5% strikeout, 6% walks. The ground ball is 41%, 0.97 home runs per nine innings. Blue Jays may opt to rest starters with the wild-card game on Friday. Lawrence formed the concern the player will be Baltimore in Game 2. Braves and Marlins, MLB pick here for Wednesday, Max Fried, the starter for Atlanta. Fried in 30 starts, carries an ERA 2.48, whip of 1.01. The left-hander striking out 23%, 4.4% walks. His ground balls are 51% limited home run damage. Lacer Hernandez, the star for Miami. Hernandez has 19 appearances, ERA 6.33, whip of 1.46. The right-hander is strikeout rate of 22%, 8.5% walks. The ground ball is coming in at 28%, 2.93 home runs per nine innings. Braves even this series to win the NL East with their 2-1 win. They've won 8 of 10. Past 10 games, Marlins hitting 172 against left-handers. The Braves bullpen here, 0.42. Braves 31-16 to the under, facing teams hitting 255 or worse the second half of the season. If Freed is limited here, uh, of course, there will be five days rest for Atlanta until they hit the playoffs, but uh, Freed could be limited. You still got to like the fact that Braves bullpen's in great form. The player will be Atlanta and Miami under the total in this one. Phillies, Astros, MLB pick here for a Wednesday. Brian, uh, Bailey Falter will start for Philadelphia. Falter in 19 appearances, ERA 3.90. His whip is 1.20. The left-hander is strikeout rate of 21%. 5% walks. The ground ball is coming in at 32%. 1.73 home runs per nine innings. A FIP of 4.66, an indicator of a rise in ERA based on his form. Framber Valdez will start for Houston. Valdez in 30 starts carries an ERA. 2.89 plus the whip is 1.17. The lefties fanning 23%, 8% walks. The ground ball is just at 67% limited home run damage. Astros even this series with a 10 0 win. Phillies, well, they have a, a road wild card game on Friday. Houston, 35 and 19 of the run line in day games, and they start the playoffs next Tuesday. Would expect some starters to see action for Houston with five days off coming up. The play will be Houston on the run line, minus one and a half runs at plus 125. Cubs, Reds, MLB pick here for Wednesday. Adrian Sampson will start for Chicago. Sampson, 18 starts, ERA 3.10, whip of 1.21. The right-hander striking out 17%, 6.3% walks. The ground ball is 40%, 0.89 home runs per nine innings. His FIP is 3.80, suggesting a rise in ERA with this form. Graham Ashcraft will start for Cincinnati. Ashcraft uh, starts in 18 games, ERA 4.52, whip of 1.40. The right-hander is pitching a contact, 15% strikeouts, 5.7% walks. The ground balls are coming in here at 54%, 0.90 home runs per nine innings. The Reds have won both games this series with a 3-2 win. Past 10 games, the Reds hitting 167 against right-handers. The Cubs, 222. Chicago, 46-25 to the under, facing teams averaging seven or more strikeouts per game during the second half of the season. Sampson, 8-0 to the under, when line between minus 100 and minus 150. The player will be the Cubs and Reds, under 8.
Rays and Red Sox. MLB pick here for action on Wednesday. Yanni Sharonis will start for Tampa Bay. Sharonis worked two games, allowing no earned runs and six strikeouts in seven innings. He returned from Tommy John surgery, had some rehab work in, in, in the minors. In 49 appearances, a career MLB ERA 3.54, whip of 1.14. Nick Pavetta will start for Boston. Pavetta in 32 starts, carries an ERA at 4.56. His whip is 1.37. The right-hander at 22% strikeout rate, 9% walks. The ground ball is 38%, 1.33 home runs per nine innings. Red Sox have won both games this series with a 6-0 win. Past 10 games, race at 183 against right-handers. Tampa Bay 35-45 on the road this season. The player will be Boston in this one. Royals and Guardians MLB pick here. This one is on action on Wednesday. We've got Jonathan Heasley to start for KC. Heasley in 20 starts, ERA 5, whip of 1.45. The right-hander is pitching to contact with 15% strikeouts, 10% walks. The ground ball served at 37%, 1.73 home runs per nine innings. A FIP of 5.78 could trigger a rise in ERA based on these numbers. Aaron Savali will start for Cleveland. Uh, Savali has 19 starts, posting an ERA of 5, whip of 1.20. The right-hander at K rate of 23%, 5.5% walks. His ground ball served at 40%, 1.19 home runs per 9 innings. His FIP is 3.79. Could trigger a drop in ERA if form holds. Guardians even this series with a 5-3 win. Past 10 games, Guardians bullpen an ERA of 2.68. Cleveland 19-4, facing a bad team with a 380-460 win percentage during the second half of the season. The play here will be Cleveland in this one. Nationals and Mets, MLB pick here for Wednesday. Eric Fetty will start for Washington. Fetty in 26 starts, ERA 5.27, whip of 1.57. The right-hander is striking out 17%, 10% walks. The ground balls are 42%, 1.37 home runs per nine innings. Looks like Mets are going to scratch the Grom from this game. Uh, if it was if they had contended for the, uh, uh, for the uh, division, he probably would have got the start here. But looks like... Uh, they will likely go with a bullpen game or go with prospects. Mets swept both games in their doubleheader with the Nationals, but were eliminated from the NL East with that Atlanta win. Mets will host a wildcard series on Friday. Past 10 games, Nationals bullpen in the area of 1.7. Oh, would expect Mets to sit some starters here. The player will be watching the Mets to go under the total. Twins and White Sox. MLB pick here for... Wednesday, Louis Varlin expected to start for Minnesota. Varlin has four starts, ERA 4.71, whip of 1.33. The right-hander an 18% strikeout, 7% walks. His ground balls just at 32%, 1.71 home runs for nine innings. Davis Martin to throw for Chicago. Martin in 13 appearances, ERA 3.65, whip of 1.18. The right-hander has a K rate of 18%, 6.7% walks. His ground balls served 38% with 0.88 home runs per nine innings. White Sox have won both games this series after an 8-3 win. Chicago has won 5-6. Now, four straight losses for Minnesota. You know, the Twins are 21-41, facing a pitcher with a whip of 1.30 or better on the season. Minnesota 19-45 and as an underdog at plus 100 or higher this season. Play here will be the White Sox at minus 135. Dimebacks and Brewers. MLB pick here for... Wednesday, Merrill Kelly will start for Arizona. Kelly in 32 starts, ERA 3.43, whip of 1.14. The right-hander is dealing 22% strikeouts, 7.5% walks. His ground ball is 43%, 0.97 home runs for nine innings. Corbin Burns expected starter here for Milwaukee. Burns, 32 starts. I guess he's that Cy Young candidate. He's going to throw it here in this one. 32 starts, ERA 2.98, whip of 0.98. The right-hander an elite 30% strikeout rate, 6.5% walks. Ground ball is 47%, 1.04 home runs per nine innings. Brewers have won both games this series with a 3 0 win. Past 10 games, Brewers hitting 216 against right handers. Kelly 14 and 4, the under facing winning teams this season. Brewers 28 and 17, the under facing teams hitting 255 or worse, second half of the season. Play here will be Arizona and Milwaukee under seven runs. Tigers and Mariners, MLB pick here for Wednesday. We got Tyler Alexander to start for Detroit. Alexander in 26 appearances in ERA, 4.72, whip of 1.31. The left-hander is pitching to contact, 14% strikeout, 6% walks. The ground ball is dealt at 35%, 1.42 home runs per nine innings. 
Marco Gonzalez expected to throw for Seattle. Gonzalez has 31 starts with an ERA 4.14, whip of 1.33. The lefty, a contact pitcher here, 13% strikeout, 6.5% walks. His ground balls are 42%, 1.53 home runs per nine innings. Mariners sweep the doubleheader with the Tigers in, a, in two high-scoring games. Seattle's a long flight to Toronto on Thursday to start the Yale wildcard round on Friday, so we'll expect some starters to rest here. The, player, the past 10 games, the Tigers hitting a 203 against left-handers. Seattle 4-15, though, on the run line when their odds are minus 120 to plus 115 this season. The play here will be on Detroit on the run line, plus one-half runs at minus 125. Giants and Padres. MLB pick here for Wednesday. Luis Ortiz expected to start for San Francisco. Ortiz in four appearances allowed one earned run with three strikeouts and six in the third innings. He, show, he has a seven lifetime MLB appearances allowing nine earned runs with 10 walks and 12 innings of work. Luis Morhan will be the primary pitcher for San Diego. Morhan has 26 appearances. ERA 4.24, whip of 1.18. Uh, the lefty a strikeout mark of 20%, 6.5% walks. The ground balls 32%, 1.06 home runs per nine innings. Padres have won both games of this series with their 6-2 win. Would expect starters to rush for San Diego. Remember, they have a long flight to New York on Thursday to start that wild card round. On Friday, the play here will be San Francisco in this one. Rockies and Dodgers. MLB pick here for Wednesday. Noah Davis to start for Colorado. Davis makes his MLB debut. He spent the bulk of his time in AA and had an ERA 5.54 whip of 1.45 in 26 starts, striking out 152 in 133 in a third innings. Clayton Kershaw listed pitcher for the Dodgers. Kershaw on 21 starts. He carries an ERA 2.30, whip of 0.96. The veteran is striking out 27%, 4.6% walks. His ground ball rate is 47%, limited home run damage. This will be an abbreviated start for Kershaw. Now, the Rockies have won three of five of this in this series with their 5-2 win. The three-game win streak for the Dodgers. The past 10 games, the Dodgers bullpen's holding up an ERA of 1.41. But L.A. is still playing starters with that five-day layoff coming here after Wednesday's game. So the player will be the Dodgers on the alternate run line, minus two runs in this one. That was our MLB Pick Show here for a Wednesday. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll have more picks coming up from college football. we got a game here for Wednesday coming up in a little bit. And don't forget to our live show here uh, starts us off here. At 9 a.m. each time, morning, Steve, with Ramon and Mindy. So check it out. I'm Tony C. Back in a little bit with some more picks.